In this video, we will talking about how to initial cluster. Before we start, let me introduce the network interface available in a cloud. Management interface. Management interface is to provide cluster communication, heartbeat and nodes configuration between all cluster nodes. It also used to access the cloud management platform. Overlay interface. Also known as VXLAN. It used for VM to VM traffic transmission within virtual network and faster VM inter traffic transmission between node to node. Storage interface. Storage interface is used to synchronize data copies between all cluster nodes. It is also used to create a virtual storage. Physical edge interface. Edge interface is a bridge connection between virtual network and physical environment. Next, I will show you how to initial cluster. Log into a cloud. After login, click nodes. You can see currently only one node. Click add new node to form a cluster. Enter cluster IP. Enter net mask. Enter cluster name. After that click save. Select the node you want to add. Please take note that, the added node will be format. Click confirm. Configure IP address pool for overlay interface. Click settings. Enter IP addresses. Enter net mask. You can enable high performance mode by clicking settings. In this scenario, we will not enable it. Click communication interface to configure management interface, overlay interface, edge interface and storage network interface. You can see we use DTH0 as management interface, you can change it by clicking settings, in this scenario, we will not change it. Select overlay network interface. Click settings to change overlay interface. Select edge interface. Click edit topology. Click Edit. Drag and drop the edge. Select the empty interface as edge interface. Select Storage Network Interface. Click Settings. Select Deployment Mode based on your environment. After that click Next. Select interface as storage network interface. After that click OK. You had done initial cluster. Check whether all interface had been configured. You had done initial cluster. In the end of this tutorial, we have learned on how to initial cluster, how to configure management interface, 
how to configure overlay interface, how to configure storage interface and how to configure physical edge interface.